Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman. And in this video, we are going to be working on some flexibility and hip mobility. So this is gonna be a great practice for those of you that suffer from tight low back and hips. If you spend a lot of time sitting or driving, you are going to love these simple stretches that I've outlined for you to help you mobilize the hips, to improve your flexibility and increase your range of motion and to help relieve some of that chronic hip pain. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be updated with tons of new videos coming out for you all the time. Now we're gonna roll out your mat and begin our practice today in a tabletop position. So we're going to start with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Just coming into a nice, strong tabletop position. Lengthen your spine, extending energy from the crown of your head all the way down your spine and out the base of your pelvis. So you feel that long central channel of energy. Then hug your belly and all of your muscles around that midline. So you engage your muscles, even in this simple position. Then we'll warm up your spine with a little cat and cow. So as you inhale your breath, lift your heart, lift your tail, opening through your front body, stretch your tummy. Then we'll exhale and round your spine, hugging your abdominals in. Tuck your chin to your chest, and curl your tailbone under to press into the earth and stretch your spine. Then we'll inhale and open up the shape, rolling your shoulders down your back as you curl your tailbone to the sky. Try not to shrug your shoulders to your ears, but rather lift up and out of your shoulders for a full stretch along your front body. Then we'll exhale and round your spine, squeezing everything into center, curling in on yourself, we stretch the back. One more time, let's inhale, open it up, rolling your shoulders down your back. Then exhale and round, squeezing it all in. Then as you're ready, we'll come back to a nice tabletop position, lengthening out your spine. Then from here, shift your weight over into your left knee. Then we'll extend your right leg up and back behind you. Now really tone and strengthen that right leg so it's very straight and strong. Then we'll inhale, lift your heart and lift your heel. Again, stretching open the front body. Then exhale, hug it into center, tuck your chin to your chest and draw your knee to your nose. Then we'll inhale and stretch it long. Reach, keep your muscles engaged you feel powerful and strong. As you exhale, curl it into center, squeeze and push. One more cycle, let's inhale, lift it out. Then exhale, squeeze it in. Then from here, we'll extend your right leg back behind you again. This time, Extend your left arm out in front of you for a nice balance challenge. Now bend your right knee, open your left arm to the side and reach back to take a hold of the top of your right foot. So this definitely poses a challenge to our balance, but once you maintain that contact, start to kick your right foot back into your hand peeling your left chest open and stretching across the front of your right hip. Stretch and twist. Then we'll gently release, extending everything long, reach and release, lowering your left hand to the floor and your right knee back to the mat. Then we'll switch to the second side, shifting your weight into your right knee. 
Extend your left leg back behind you, toning the strength of that left leg. Make it super straight and strong. Then we inhale, lift your heel and lift your heart, stretching your front body. Then we'll exhale and curl it in. Squeeze, press into the mat. Then inhale and open it up. Reach your body long. Then we'll exhale and curl it in. Use the strength of your abdominals here. Then we'll inhale again, extend. And exhale to curl it in. Then reach the left leg back behind you again. This time we extend your right fingertips forward for a balance. Bend your left knee, reach your right arm open and out, grabbing for the left foot behind you. Once you make that contact, we start to kick the left foot into the hand opening through the front of your hip. And you'll also feel a stretch across the front of your right chest. That's just a little bonus stretch for you. Feeling that whole body open. Then we'll extend right arm forward, left leg back, then release everything back down to your mat. Coming back to that nice tabletop position, let's extend your left leg excuse me, we'll extend the right leg back behind you. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your heel. This time we're gonna draw your right knee into your chest. Shift your weight forward over your hands and see if you can step that right foot down in front of you. Now, scoot your left knee back about an inch or so. Lunge forward here, really sinking into your hips. So as you scoot that left knee back, it gives you a little more space so you can lunge forward and you'll feel a good stretch across the front of your left hip and a deep compression to the inside of the right hip. Inhale your breath here as you lift and extend through your spine. Then we'll exhale Draw your hips back, extending your right leg straight, and fold your chest down towards your right leg. Then we'll inhale and shift forward again, coming back into the lunge. Lift through the crown of your head as you melt your hips forward. Exhale, draw it back and fold over the right leg. Then again, inhale to come forward, lifting through your spine and all the way up through the crown of your head. Then we'll exhale and draw it back. Shifting over the left knee, we stretch the right leg straight and fold. Then inhale, coming back into your lunge. This time we're gonna step your right hand to the inside of your right foot then rotate your left knee 90 degrees on your mat. Sink your hips down to your left heel. Then reach your hands about 45 degrees off the left edge of your mat. So as you sink your hips down towards your left heel, fold your heart forward, allowing the crown of your head to reach down towards the floor. You should feel a really deep, juicy stretch to the inside of your right thigh and hip. Then walk your hands back onto your mat. Step your right hand to the outside of your foot. Lunge forward nice and deep. Then open the left arm up towards the sky. So the more you can lunge forward, the more stretch you're gonna feel to your inner right hip. Revolve your heart around, extending your left fingertips to the sky. Then we'll release, bringing your left hand down. You can spin your left heel back to its place. 
And then again, we're gonna step the right hand to the inside of your right foot. Now bend your elbows, lowering your heart towards the earth. We're gonna come all the way down onto your forearms here, coming into lizard pose. Now as you soften your hips here, you really want to focus your attention on that inner right hip. Allow yourself to soften there, feeling the hip open, breath by breath. Now we can take this one step further by incorporating a thigh stretch for the left leg. So you have two options here. You can either stay down on your left forearm or you can come all the way up onto your left hand. So you can play with what works best for your body. I'm gonna show with the forearm down, you're gonna press your right hand into your right knee and twist your heart open to the right. Then bend that left leg behind you and we're gonna reach back again, reaching for the top of the left foot. So this is very similar to what we did in the tabletop position. We're gonna pull that left heel in towards your hip to stretch across the top of your left thigh. So these, these uh, thigh muscles, the quadriceps, are part of the hip flexors. So for those of you that sit all the time or drive all the time, these are the muscles that get shortened and tightened from that constantly sitting position. So it can be really intense here to start to open up the fronts of the legs. And just breathe slow and steady as you pull that heel in towards your hip. And then we'll gently release, letting it go. Let the left toes come back down to the earth. As you square yourself back to center, you can press all the way up here. And then we're gonna glide your hips back, coming back into that half split. Now this time we're gonna keep your heart lifted, extending through your spine. Press the left hand down into the mat as you twist and extend your right fingertips to the sky. This will allow you to stretch into the IT band. That's that nice, tight outer band of tissue from the outer edge of your hip all the way down to the outside edge of your knee. So we're gonna breathe into that space here, allowing it to fully stretch. Then we'll slowly fold back down towards the earth. Then heel toe walking your foot across to the left edge of your mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Then we'll exhale and fold all the way forward over your right leg. So again, we're coming in to stretch along the IT band, really getting into that outer hip. So this is an area that can contribute to sciatic pain, to chronic low back pain. All these kinds of issues can be attributed to tightness in the hamstrings and the IT band and the outer hips. So this flexibility and mobility becomes extremely important for helping to relieve that chronic tension and relieve that chronic pain. So take an inhale, lift your heart up. We're gonna come all the way forward into pigeon pose, bending into your right knee, bringing your right shin down towards the mat. Now, if your hips are very tight, you can press into the floor and lift yourself up so that you can square your hips towards the front. So oftentimes the tendency is to just sit over onto the right hip. And I know that is like where our body wants to go when it feels really tight, but challenge yourself to come up and over, squaring your hips towards the front. Then eventually in time, the hips can come lower down towards the earth, coming into a deeper variation of the pose. But the idea is to keep the left hip forward. So that's your challenge for today in this pigeon pose. Take one more inhale right where you are. Breathe it in. 
and exhale, completely release. Then bring your hands forward onto your mat, planting your palms flat down. Tuck your back toes, press up to that left knee, and we'll just gently scoop the right knee back down to the mat, making your way back into a tabletop position. Then from here, just roll your body forward and back a few times. Just any, any kind of movement here that feels good. We're just kind of opening up that right hip. We just did all of those stretches and all of that work to open up the hip. So we just make a few circles in both directions, just loosening it up. Then as you feel ready, we'll start to make your way back into your tabletop position and prepare to explore on the second side. So we'll sweep the left leg straight back behind you. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your heel. Then we'll exhale and hug it into center, squeezing your belly tight. Shift forward over your hands and see if you can step that left foot down. Then we'll just slightly scooch the right knee back behind you and sink your hips towards the earth, opening the front of that right hip. Inhale, lift your heart, lift through the crown of your head. Then we'll exhale, draw your hips back to extend the left knee straight and we fold. Then again, inhale, come forward, breathing deeply, lift all the way through your spine. Then we'll exhale completely, drawing your hips back. We fold to the depth of the stretch. Then again, inhale, coming forward, riding the wave of the breath. Let your breath guide your movement. Then we'll exhale and draw it back to fold. Then again, inhale and lunge forward, shifting over the left foot. Then we're gonna rotate the right knee 90 degrees on your mat. Step your hands to the inside of your foot as you sink your hips down to your right heel. Reach your hands forward off to the right side of your mat as you let your head and your heart soften down towards the earth. So again, we're feeling a deep stretch into the left hip here. Soften your heart as you let your shoulders relax. Let your hip sink down towards the right heel and just breathe into that left hip. So this is a big stretch for sure. You're gonna feel a lot of sensation here. So go slowly, focus your energy, stay present and take those slow, steady breaths. Then we'll walk your hands in, pressing yourself up. Step your left hand to the outside of your foot. Shift your weight forward, going into a really deep lunge here. Then we'll open up the rib cage and extend your right fingertips to the sky. So again, the more you can lunge forward, the more stretch you're gonna get in the inner left hip. And I'll also mention, a lot of times I teach that the knee should be over the ankle. However, in this position where the back knee is down and we have a substantial amount of weight in that back leg, for the front knee to come forward in front of the ankle is pretty safe. You're not gonna overextend your knee or your ankle. And this will allow you to really get deep into the inner hip. So we're opening up all of that connective tissue in the hip here. Take one more inhale as you reach your heart open. Then we'll exhale and gently return to center. Swing your right foot back to its place. And then again, we'll go left hand to the inside of the left foot. Lowering your heart towards the earth, we're coming down into lizard pose. So making your way down onto your forearms. Now, if your hips are very tight and you can't come all the way to your forearms, you can just bend your elbows 
or maybe bring your forearms down onto a block or a cushion, something that'll give you a little extra lift. Just eventually working your way deeper and deeper as you soften that inner left hip, really letting your hips, your pelvis surrender to gravity so you feel that weight sinking down towards the earth. Then we'll take it that extra step coming into that thigh stretch for the right leg. So again, you've got two options here to either stay down on the right forearm or you can come all the way up onto the right hand. So you find what works best for you. Once you get situated, you're going to bring your left hand to your left knee, press into that knee to twist your spine around. And then we'll bend the right leg back behind you. For some of you, you might already feel a thigh stretch right here. We'll open up that left hand, reaching around to grab to the top of your foot. If you can't quite reach, that might be when you push up to the right hand. When you get a hold of your foot, slowly, gently pull the heel in towards your hip, maximizing the stretch across the top of your right thigh. Breathe slow and steady here. Allow yourself to soften as you breathe into this stretch. Then we'll slowly release, extending the foot down. Come all the way back around to the front, pressing yourself up. Then we'll glide your hips back over your right knee and extend the left leg straight. Take an inhale here to lift and lengthen your spine. Then we're gonna twist and extend the left arm to the sky. So working right into that IT band, feeling that deep stretch along the outer left thigh. Notice where you feel the tension Breathe slow and steady, allowing your body to soften. Allow your body to fully experience the depth of the stretch. Notice where it comes alive for you. Then we'll gently release, floating your left hand back down to the earth. Then walk your left foot across to the right edge of your mat. So crossing over your midline here. Let's inhale, lift and extend your spine. Then exhale and fold all the way forward over that left leg. Again, deepening into the IT band. Whew. Yes. So again, these muscles that travel down the length of your legs are associated with the hips in such an intimate way. These muscles actually attach around your pelvis and around your hips and journey all the way down to your knees. So when you're feeling tightness in your hips, it can relay and refer as tightness in your knees and vice versa. So when we take this time to really stretch and lengthen out these muscles along the IT band and the hamstrings and the thighs, the quadriceps, these all act upon the hips to open and loosen things up. Let's inhale to lift through your spine. Then shifting forward into your pigeon pose, we're gonna bend that left knee. Shift your weight forward, bringing your left shin towards the earth. And then again, if your hips are very tight, push into your mat to lift your hips higher and work on bringing that right hip around to the front, squaring your hips. My old dance teacher used to call our hip bones your headlights. So you want to point your headlights forward. Then we work on deepening into the pose eventually sinking your hips towards the earth. But we really wanna focus on getting that right hip bone around. And that's what allows us to get the deep stretch in the outer left hip. 
So we're really working into those rotators here. So we'll just take another full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. Then plant your hands forward on your mat. I'm gonna tuck your back toes, press your weight back, and just gently glide your left knee back into that tabletop position. And then again, we'll just take three big circles one way and three big circles the other way. The main idea here is just to get some movement going. So we have held some deep, intense stretches. So now we're just move it around, loosen it up and invite a little more circulation into those hips. And then let's just sink your hips back to your heels, coming into a nice little child's pose here, allowing your rib cage to soften and settle between your thighs. Let your forehead soften down towards the mat as you extend your arms forward and gently stretch into your shoulders. Take some slow, deep, steady breaths here, really softening behind your heart, behind your kidneys, and breathing all the way down into your hips. Slow down your mind, slow down your thoughts, and just allow yourself to feel so deeply into your body. Allow your breath to be like an internal massage, massaging your lungs, massaging your organs, massaging your hips and your spine. Just let the breath feel so nourishing to your body. I'll just take one more good, big, deep, full cycle of breath. Breathing all the way into the top of your inhale and breathing out slowly and completely to the bottom of your exhale. And walk your hands in towards your knees and gently press yourself all the way up into a seat. And then just close your eyes here and you're kneeling. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your breath moves. Notice the rhythm of your thoughts and the beating of your heart. And just feel into the wonderful spaces in your body. Bring your hands to prayer at your heart and gently bow your chin to yourself. Smile at yourself, giving yourself gratitude and appreciation for taking time to come onto your mat and practice today. Give gratitude and love to your amazing body and renew your commitment to yourself. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide and to share in this yoga journey with you. It's truly an honor and a blessing. So thanks again for following along with me today. Please do leave your comments below. It's always such a pleasure to hear from you, my yogi friends and family. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you've enjoyed this practice. And I will look forward to seeing you on the mat again next time. Namaste.